So we're at the Vim booth, SEMA 2023. I guess I'm more interested in is, yeah, the bigger tooling, maybe if there's anything heavy the bigger equipment stuff. specific or whatever, thing. but. Uh, Coverage of the SEMA show is sponsored by Fortis HD and Mueller Coops. So go buy some tools at FortisHD.com. So it's extendable, right? Three quarter ratchet yep. up to 48 inches overall length. Normally you have a three quarter ratchet and what's out there now is 24 teeth or head, it consists of 48 teeth. Technically you have half the degree of sweep, not that you're in a tight spot, but there's not so much space between clicks. Holds up no problem and on top of that, the head is actually removable and you can replace it with an indexing breaker. Yeah, there's some beef there. You just need like a, a loop on the end. Yeah, a loop on it? Yeah, like a hole in the end of it or something. To be able to hang it or? Yeah, hang it from my crane, <laughs> pull it go. with the crane. I don't even know where I put mine right now. Oh, it's in a box. See, one thing we are making <laughs> is we are getting, <laughs> let me show you. It's gonna be something like this, which yeah. is a magnet holder for your ratchet. So you're not taking up space in your box. Oh, that's you can actually cool. put it on the lift or on the side of the box, put all your ratchets in it. We are gonna come up with a three quarters size of that and it's gonna be a 50 pound magnet to hold that's them big sweet. boys. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Another thing we're coming out with are dual swivel pinless impact adapters oh, that wow. are locking. Look at those. And they'll go all the way up to three quarters of an inch. <laughs> Two rounded hexes it looks like, or a rounded hex inside a socket. How much angle of the dangle does that do though? It's supposed to, like... to do just under 35%. Okay. 35 degrees, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Vegas, man, long night. Oh, that's all good. <laughs> we currently have these guys. They're dual swivel, they're not impact because- Is magnet? That, no, that is just the push release. Oh, okay. This guy right here, the difference is it doesn't have the pinless because it's spring-loaded. So no more O-ring, no more tape. Yep. You don't gotta worry about it going limp on you. Always bounce it back. These right here, this is our DSPA 200. Dual swivel pinless adapters. This is the impact version because we do have a hand-driven version. Oh, this is an impact? No, that is. that is. But I'm saying we have a smaller version of that kit which is hand-driven, not impact. It's quarter and three-eighths. Okay. But we went farther with this one and we made them impact. So you can use them just like this. They look a little bulky, don't they? Oh yeah. That's because you could use them fixed, you could use them with one swivel, or you could use them with two swivels. Oh wow. A couple ways to use that tool. That's a, that's a real reach around, right? eh? Yeah, that's pretty slick. Quarter, three, eight and a half. I mean, it's still a lot more compact than putting two swivels uh -huh. on each other too. Oh, that's pretty slick. This is not a tool, but Polish. I think it's pretty funny. So this is one of our new apparel lines, Tool Life. This is our first inaugural design. Not busted. <laughs> oh man, I like that. Right? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's keep going. <laughs> Ratcheting flare nuts, eh? Ratcheting flare nut wrenches. So ours are a little bit different than others, and I'll show you why. So A, they're spring-loaded, so they lock in place open, that little pin. And how that works, you go over your line, down onto your flare nut, and it automatically closes if you push on it. So it's one-hand application, in a sense. It's going to bite on all six flats, as opposed to traditional flare nuts that are only going to bite on four flats, this will bite on all six, and then because it's spring-loaded, it's gonna ratchet. So it'll ratchet going the other way. Similar designs have failed in the past because they open up over time, the spring gives in. The way we designed it is that we added this extra overlap of metal here, so that when you're actually tightening, it's metal on metal and there's no spring tension holding it closed. So over time, you're not gonna deal with one that stays open. Once yeah. it closes, the spring's not engaged. Yeah. So you're not dealing with the spring actually holding the tool together. That being said, we have the RFW 200, which is the heavier duty set. It goes from 22 to 32. Then we also have two smaller sets, the RFW 100 and the RFW 150. Okay. The 100 goes from eight millimeters to 14. The 150 goes from 15 to 19. Another cool tool, it's not heavy duty, but it's what do we call our wobble socket adapters, WSA 100. You have quarter by 10 mil, three eighths by 14, half by 19. You see the two ball detents there? So the first ball detent allows you to lock into a ratcheting wrench or a box wrench. The second one holds your socket in place. So now you have a super low profile ratchet or breaker bar if it's a box wrench. They have the two step wobble design so where you can put a socket on it and it's fixed or you pop it out one step and then you have 15 degrees of the twiddle. Pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Extra deep, say. Eh? Yes, sir. That's kind of neat. And then we have the quarter inch version as well. And like a full set, not just like, oh, we'll just give you like one size because exactly. that's some common size on some yep. Honda, whatever the f I don't know. What we have here is kind of yeah. what the business was known for to begin with, which is our bits and drivers. That's okay. where the bread and butter of our business was as a hand tool line and a hard line, yeah. we have less than 2% defective rate across our entire hard line, which is very difficult for a lot of companies to claim. Yeah. We don't get a lot of tools back. And people beat the shit out of these tools. Right here, 
We have one of our metric hex sets. You have all your two-piece shorter drivers. It goes from two, I believe, all the way up to 22 millimeters. And then you also have the longer six-inch hex. They're all three-eighths and they go up to 10 mil. Okay. Here we have a large mechanics master set. We call this our MMS-64. It consists of Torx, hex, in both SAE and metric, and Torx sockets, Torx Plus, and tamper proof and you can really feel the weight of this kit and you can tell it's not a Whoa. yeah it's, it's not a joke of a kit up. there's <laughs> there's some weight to it stuff holds up it's all impact quality tools they're satin so i'm not calling them impact but you throw them on an impact you happen to break one i'm not denying a warranty these will hold up also for all you guys who hate having to look up part numbers and hate having to try to figure out something for warranty we added those qr codes with parts breaks downs so you guys can easily see what part number you're missing okay here we have a full Torx set. Anything you need Torx is in that kit. 77 pieces, Torx socket, e-Torx sockets, Torx plus sockets, tamper proof, regular, the whole shebang. We have a regular Torx kit here, which is no specialty Torx, all Torx. So you have two piece drivers, Torx sockets, four inch long and six inch long ball Torx, all in the same kit. These guys are one of our popular sets. This is the Impact 50. They're all three eighths, half cut, stubby impact drivers. You have metric hex, standard hex, triple square, tamper-proof triple square, flats, Phillips, Torx, and Torx Plus, all in the same kit. If some of you deal with a lot of this stuff, you can obviously buy the master kit. If you just wanted one row of one of these, we sell them individually as well as part of subsets. So this makes up five subsets, or you buy the master set, depending on what your needs are. We also went ahead and made the little brother kit. This is a quarter-inch drive impact set, MMS 450. Has the same bits, quarter-inch, super low profile. That's pretty average, man. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen impact drivers. You've used them. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's I nothing got, special to them. I got the snap on one. But, and I mean, I beat the shit out of it because that's what it's for. Gotcha. And, I love that you yeah. said that because feel the weight of that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the difference uh, in that in our kit. Oh, yeah. The weight of those impact drivers are about double the weight in the industry standard. Because of that, you have about double the momentum going through yeah. when you hammer it down. Heavy's better, man. We also have a version of that kit that comes without bits, and then one that comes with all of our 5 16th impact bits here, okay. as well as the adapter. We're one of the few companies that actually has a triple square impact bit. Metric hex, standard hex, Torx, Torx Plus, flat fill up, triple square. Sweet. We call this our S2BK shake to break kit. Uh, I'm sure you can already guess what this is yeah. for. You have 3 8 half, and a 5 16 bit holder for all those bits. Two locking ball detents, one goes in, locks it in place, put your air hammer on it, your socket on it, you're vibrating it while you're breaking it loose so that you no longer have to worry about shearing that bolt off. You can get it off a lot easier. And also, what do you think about the foams yourself? A few people know this, but I started out in aviation, so like, okay. I love it if I can use it. Um, I like it. It's nice to be organized. Gotcha. It's nice to know where your right. goes and all that. It's neat, um, you know where it goes. So, this toolbox, you can see we have all of our magnetic rail systems. Hold our sockets, super low profile. They stick straight through the drawer liners, they're low profile. They have these pegs on them, but the pegs are actually there, so you know you're missing something. They're universal, and the track system for the pegs are all the same. So you can have quarter, three-eighths, half, three-quarters, one inch, all on the same rail, no problem, because the pegs okay. are all the same. There's nothing in the industry that holds up like these. Yeah. These stick straight through drawer liners, no problem. You can slam these drawers, and you're not having anything move on you or fall apart. Has yeah. no problem with that. And for you heavy-duty guys, this guy right here, someone stuck another one on there. It's hard to get off, so I'm not gonna try that. <laughs> but we do have the double wide mag okay. rail. So you can put all your big heavy duty impact sockets on this, no problem. We have seven different colors, four different sizes, two different widths. We used to have them anodized, we switched them to powder coat. I think guys more and more are trying to get like more organized. Well, they help organize a lot. Yeah. You can organize a drawer. You can even use the side of the deep drawer so you're not wasting any space. Yeah. So yeah, you can yeah. stick a set under it and use the side. You're really maximizing your toolbox drawer. They are a little bit pricey because the bags are expensive, but I always tell dealers or individuals, take one of them, use it next week. If you don't like it, send it back. Yeah. Never send it back. They end up buying their entire box worth because there's nothing that holds up like these. We have our drill bit holder here. Has one of those magnets on the bottom. Also, it doesn't magnetize the drill bit and they're super easy to pull out. I like that it's not twist lock bullshit. None of that. I don't like twist lock. You don't want grease on your hands and have to twist something oh, to get it off. Ooh, it's got a little puller. So we actually had to invent that because as you can tell, it's, a lot, it's really hard to get them off, especially if there's no drawer liner, they're a pain. So the only way to get them off is by pulling on that easily. So that's what these are for, yeah. these little ring lifters. Yeah, I guess the only problem is my truck's all aluminum, so. I don't know how much you deal with aerosol cans. So this rail right here is the same concept, but it has a curve to it. So you can stick anything to it. And on top of that, 
We yeah. put two screw holes in there, so if it's a wooden workbench or an aluminum part, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can still use it. They're hard to get off. Magnetic can holders. That's good. But so there's yeah. MCH2 for the black version, MCH2G for the green. Okay. This is one of the trays that we sell. Oh, nice. So you can literally fill it up, take it with you. These also come off. One size of tray right now? One or? size right now. We sell it in blue and green only right now. Okay. Sweet. These are but again, if you were to buy well, different they're not macros, even you, do you, you just want. stick them on so you can move them around. Exactly. We had to redesign the edges of them. I don't have one here. It's over there. We made them a little bit less sharp because they bite, oh, man. Yeah. They hurt. <laughs> the blood blisters are unreal. These oh, are the awesome. subsets that I was talking about from those impact sets. Yeah, oh yeah. They'll come on rails just like this. They come on the magnet they rails? They come on the magnet. You guys don't just ship them on a sh plastic rail that I'm going to throw out. <laughs> no, exactly. Okay, so it's something useful. And the reason we do that is because we eat a lot of the cost of it so that people get to try the rails because once you try them, it's, there's nothing else better than it. So you keep using them. People want them, and they'll pay the price because it's worth it. I do like it. I like those. Like I said, we have them in 8, 12, 16, yeah. 20 inches. Double wide for the big boy sockets on 12 and 20 inch. We carry blue, green, red, black, yeah. purple, pink, yellow. But Sweet. I think that's the spiel for today for me. Sweet. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Not a problem, man. Yeah, thanks for showing us the product. Yes, sir. Pleasure and, uh, meeting you. A little you. bit about Vim Tools and everything. Yes, sir. Check them out. I'm sure a lot of you guys already heard about them because I just haven't really dealt with them because I'm Canadian. But uh, we're family owned out of Tampa, Florida. We're yeah. here to stay, and I'm here to help you guys. And we actually get a lot of feedback from mechanics. Yeah. And that's how we develop new products. That's Vim Tools SEMA 2023. See you guys. Bye. Love you. See you. Bye. Buy some parts. SportsHD.com. Buy some rubber tracks. SportsHD.com. We have it all. Buy some tools. Mueller Coops. We got some fun new stuff coming too. Check it out. Are you an experienced heavy duty mechanic thinking about going on your own? Click the link in the description to fill out the form. Tecamo, your heavy equipment support network.